Hey guys, it's Brianna, and today I am joined with someone very, very special. Yes. You probably know him if you've been watching my videos. He is no longer my boyfriend. He's my fiance. Yeah, I put a ring on it. I posted a picture, and a lot of people were like, what, you're engaged? So I'm doing a Q&A about it because yeah. We need to put everything to rest. I have a feeling this is going to be a very long video, so <clears throat> if I were you, I would just pause the video right now, go get a snack, paint, go to the start bathroom. painting your nails. Oh yeah, you don't want to miss any of this. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of questions to answer. Load all of them, yeah. First, before we answer any questions, if you are new and you don't know our story, you might want to pause this and go watch our story video. We have a whole story about it. Sorry, it's kind of bad quality. It was made on an iPhone, but <clears throat> it's filled with love. So let's get started. Okay. Just.Y says, what was your reaction? My heart melted. That's what it felt like. Good explanation. Like, um, like you know that song that's like, I'll stop the world and melt with you? We were at an airport and it literally felt like the world stopped and I was melting. Like, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Did he know you were the one? Yes, I knew she was the one. I always get bored of girls. I always got bored of girls. And I could never keep a real conversation going until our first date. And it was almost like I was hooked. It's like I, I never felt magnetic attraction like that. And it's kind of hard to stay away. It's no, it's not hard. It's impossible to stay away now. Oh, okay. Alyssa uh, asked, how did he do it? Oh my gosh, wait, can I tell it? Yes. Okay, no. I'll tell my version and then he'll tell his. So he went to Texas <clears throat> for a business trip and while he was there, he bought the ring. He was like taking pictures of it and he had, he's in this private investor group on Facebook and he sent me a screenshot of like a notification for like 500 likes or something. I logged onto his Facebook so I could look at the ring. <laughs> Hello, doesn't he know I would do that? Like, No, I actually I thought that you would want the surprise. I thought you'd be happy that so many people were excited for our future engagement. So I go to pick him up at the airport and I'm waiting in the airport. He runs out to me and I kind of told him that I saw it on Facebook. So he's like, I can't wait anymore. I was going to wait until dinner, but I can't wait. <laughs> and he got down on his knee and he asked me and I was like crying. I was like. <laughs> and all the all the couples who were around us came up and I five. Like, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, yeah. goodness. And my version is that my sneaky girlfriend went on <laughs> Facebook and saw my post which probably wasn't a good idea in the first place, but I was excited. I'm, I'm like, okay, it's not special because now she's just going to be looking forward to it the whole day. And if I, I was going to take her to Disneyland, I'm, I'm like, if I go to Disneyland, she's going to know. So I'm like, when is she not going to know? Right now. I'm like, Brianna, <laughs> you leave me with no choice. He's like I, always I, so I spontaneous. It. Ella Lindau says, are you going to be filming the wedding? P.S. I love you so much. Probably. Like, um, not us personally, like I'm not going to be vlogging mm, the wedding yeah. because, you know, that's like a special day, you know, but I think we'll like hire a professional we will. videographer. She, we don't think we will. We will. So you'll see it. <laughs> Natalie Ladino says, how long have you two been together? About two Almost years? Almost two years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. On Christmas, it will be exactly two years. Lucy Kopchak says, what are you guys' plans after you get married? How do your families feel about it? XOXO, love you, so happy for you Aww, both. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Our plans are, I need to take my business, which is not a $100,000 a month business, and get it there. That's what I'm doing now. And then we are going to probably move to Texas, right? Yes. And uh, I don't married. know how she convinced me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he has a business partner in Houston, and they're yeah. like starting to pick up momentum. I've always wanted to live in Texas, but I can literally live anywhere, like doing YouTube, and I'm going to be doing some other stuff too. We yeah. cannot talk about what we're launching in probably like six months to a yeah, year. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it yet. But you guys are going to love every single bit of it. Can I just say Brianna is going to be the best businesswoman? My family is like totally for it. His family is... Totally for it. Yeah. The truth is, is that uh, we shouldn't be doing a lot of things that we do at our age. We're not afraid to make a commitment. 
Have you received any bad comments because you're uh, for being engaged at such a young age? On Instagram, somebody, I don't think they were trying to be mean. They were like, she's 17. Like, I'm totally fine with people saying that. Like, obviously, people are going to think things and say bad things. But what's funny is at school, like, people have come up to me and said, oh my gosh, so-and-so is talking crap about you. They're like, oh my god, that's illegal. She's only 17, blah, blah, blah. And it's so funny because this one girl in particular was talking crap about me. And then at lunch, she came up to me and she's like, congratulations, Brianna. And I was like, <laughs> that's some what people will hate. Some people hate on me, some people hate on her, who But cares? honestly, it doesn't matter because his opinion and my opinion are the only opinions that matter because no offense to everyone else, no one really, really knows us and no one really knows how we are all the time. Like, you see us on camera and stuff, but, like, you don't really know us and, like, so it's like, why judge? I don't judge you, why should you judge me? Way That's to, my rant! Way to speak out to uh, one, one in a hundred thousand in the camera who <laughs> thinks that it's not okay. But I know you guys. I love you guys so much. Like, I know you We guys know you know us the right way. Yeah, right? we love you. Okay. When is the wedding gonna be, says Serena KG. Um, probably in May. Sagli Sorrel says, does Jalen still live with you and your family? I did for a while, while I was broke. Then I started my business and made quite a bit of money. And I have my, my own place now. Yep. So, Becca Sue Knight 18 says, how did you know you want to marry her? First of all, have you guys not seen this face? I, and every, every single time I look into her eyes, I see a fire. And that I would not be who I am today if I didn't have her in my life. Mm -hmm. I think that we complete each other and you just feel a sort of click. It's like a puzzle piece. You try out a hundred different puzzle pieces to see it click. And some might almost fit, but they're still a little bit de deformed. And when you get that perfect fit, you're just like, yes, I'm not taking this sucker apart ever again. So that's how I knew. <laughs> Alana O'Flynn says, are you going to college? Well, I'll start with me. I am not going to college. And I, it's not that I don't encourage college. But if you fall in love with a passion and you know that if you devote all your time to it, it'll treat you right, <laughs> which it has. Um, then I believe that you, you shouldn't. You know, each person has has their own needs, and my needs yeah. didn't include college. I believe with all my heart that my needs don't include college either. With what she's going to be launching, she's not going to have time. So yeah. she'll take uh, fashion classes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to be marketing. taking... Um, there's a Teen Vogue partnered with Parsons, which is a fashion school in um, New York, and I'm going to be taking an online course through them at the end of my senior year, like my second semester of senior year. Sharpen your skills. Yep. In the right areas. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. food reminds you of Jalen? <laughs> Sandwich meat. <laughs> Literally the only thing he ever buys for his place is sandwich meat and bread. So that's... I buy a lot of other stuff, no. just the only thing I eat is sandwich meat and sandwich bread. <laughs> Jay Jordan says, when do you plan on moving in together? Right after we get married. Boom. Nady Medina, are you planning to have kids in the future? And if so, how many? Yes. Not yes. now. I want to have kids in like 10 years. We want to have kids in like 10 years. And how many do we want? Six or seven. Okay. Uh, Eileen Ponce, what age do you plan on getting married? Eileen, if right we when I turn 18. <laughs> if we could right now, we would. <laughs> Dad, where's that signature? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I joking. We should be 18 when we get married. Yeah, 18, so. 19. Nelsie XOX says, what was your parents and his parents' reaction? Were they okay with it or happy? I think we can elaborate on this more. Yeah. I don't think anybody was surprised. <laughs> my dad is like, wow, congratulations. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, that is so exciting. <laughs> and my parents got mad at me because I kind of forgot yeah, to Yeah, he them. didn't even tell them. I told him to tell them. He's like, no, we'll just tell them when we go out to visit them. It's better to tell them in person. Han Bick asked, what's the one thing about Jalen you love the most? P.S. I love you. I love you too! <laughs> Personality-wise, I love that he's so driven and when he wants something, he gets it. He's so loving and caring. He has like the biggest heart in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Physically, I love his face. Like his little nose is so cute. And I love his little teeth. 
This little tooth is literally on an island. It's the cutest <laughs> thing ever. And I love his little dimples. Aww. And I love it when he smiles and he when he wears CK1 because that smells so good. And I love the way his hair goes. I just mm. love him. I love everything about mm. him. And I love okay. his lips. His top lip is bigger than his bottom lip. And I love his little stumble. On to the next question. <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> Madison Jam Rose says... Are you guys going to start planning the wedding soon or be engaged for a little bit? Planning a wedding right away. I think what we want to do, we want a really small, close, tight-knit family wedding first. And then, like, in a year from now, we want, like, a big wedding for everyone. Isabella Peter says, you are so young. Guess what, Isabella? Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something just because you're young. People told me I was 18 and I should not be trying to get into real estate. I did it. And now I've made a lot of money and I built stability for us. Don't get married right away unless you're in love and you're ready to make a lifelong commitment and let God, you know, lead you to the right decision. I've already said this in a different video. I can't even remember which one, but everyone finds love at different ages. But when you know it's the right time and you feel it in your heart and your soul, then it is the right time and and me. it's okay people are always gonna have an opinion i want to tell you not or to do something mm -hmm. Haley jepson says how long has Jalen been waiting to do this since we were babies i mean i popped out of the womb like i'm going to marry brianna <laughs> abby jose what are your plans for your honeymoon i like hawaii personally but i think we're gonna go to the, the maldives, maldives. Maldives, Maldives. Maldives, Maldives. Don't Who cares? kill us for saying it wrong. <laughs> Who cares? We're going to the Maldives and it's this summer and uh, yes. we're going to have a freaking blast. Yes. Dana Shri, are you planning on writing your own vows or using the traditional one? I have no clue what a traditional vow is. but You don't know what that is? No, but I, all, like... I don't even need to know. <laughs> I'm writing my own vows and they're going to be heartfelt and I can't wait to share them. And oh. I'm sure you're the same way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys planning on living in an apartment or house immediately after you get married? My part, business partner and I found a beautiful 21-story high-rise condo in downtown Houston. Um, he's he's getting a uh, you know place there already on like the 12th floor, and we're getting a place there as well. So it's gorgeous, amazing luxury living, and I think we're gonna enjoy it. And I think a house right now would be like way too big for us. Like we oh, wouldn't yeah. know what to do with all the space. Katrina says, "Do you think it's gonna affect school? Not at all." Especially because we're not going to college, we're running businesses, and I think that it helps us thrive in our businesses. I've been in school for like a week since we announced it, and like, of course, people are talk about it, but it hasn't affected school at all. Yeah. Like, it's the exact same. People are just like, oh my god, let me see the ring. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Mary Alice, after you get married, will you still make YouTube videos? Yes! What? Of what? course! She's gonna make a video every day. Oh my gosh, literally every day. You guys are gonna be so sick of me. Like, oh my gosh, by the way, thank you guys for 30,000. I love you guys so much. <laughs> In the new condo, we're gonna have a recording room. Yeah, I'm literally first. gonna have a filming room. Like, it's so exciting to like plan out. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. What do you say to people? Who think that you guys are too young to get married do you feel like you guys are prepared for what's to come by the way congrats thank you what I would want to say is first of all look at how many divorces go on of, of people who got married later in life there's no difference in making a commitment at our age to 10 years or 20 years down the road in fact I think it's better at our age we've grown so so much together like literally a year ago we were so different than we are now yeah. it's amazing just like getting to experience everything with him and if anyone thinks that we're too young who cares I don't really care what <laughs> they think really yeah do you think I care their life and absolutely, I think that a big issue getting married this age is if you couldn't afford, afford it. Afford it, yeah. Money. That's the problem. Money's a huge issue. Uh, it's not easy to go buy a diamond ring. It's not easy to afford a wedding. It's not easy to afford a honeymoon, which we probably wouldn't be getting married if I, you know, wouldn't have made... Yeah, when, by when the way, to... if you guys are new and you're like... Me and Jalen both grew up in average middle class families where no one's special, yeah. but we decided that we want to get out of the middle class. We want 
to grow and be able to be financially free. So don't think that we're just some snobby little brats who came from money. No, like we've earned everything yeah. that we have. I had, when I got started in my business, I had negative 180 bucks and I've turned it into over six figures. Um, so yes, we are ready. <laughs> yes. Jaylee says, when is the bachelorette party? <laughs> I love you, Jaylee. <laughs> really? <laughs> Chloe Nicola says, this is probably a very weird question, but will you film a get ready with me for the wedding? Um, yes. Shali Ma says, what's been the toughest part of y'all's relationship and how did you get through it? I was away to, uh, on a family trip for two months mm -hmm. when I was, when I was 17. And, uh, that was pretty tough to yeah. be away for two months oh my gosh. on the other side of the globe with no texting. You just have internet connection. You're different 10 hours ahead so you can only talk at certain times of the day. That was pretty tough. And that yeah. was, that was probably That not, was the toughest. It was a fun trip, but it was probably the worst two months because it just sucked to be away from I each know. other. So mm -hmm. Valero DRZ says, how do you know this is going to end well? P.S. You look so cute with him. Huh, there's a lot of things that I don't know for sure are going to end well, like walking up the stairs or walking down the stairs or walking my dog. But do you know what? In our relationship, I think we control it with our actions mm -hmm. and our emotions and the way we treat each other. So it's not out of our control to have a successful relationship. It's in our control. So in <laughs> short, we are in control and we're going to make it end well, which is going to be with us dying together. Yes. You know. At an old age. <laughs> Sincerely, Ashley said, what style of ring is it from Jared? It's a cushion cut with a halo. Um, yes. So, yeah. It's so beautiful. Like, I told <clears throat> him a while ago that I wanted cushion cut with a halo, and he surpassed my wildest dreams. Where do you see you guys as a couple 10 years from now? <gasps> that is such a good question. Oh my gosh. 10 years, I see us living in a nice big house me having my own business huge business with my first baby yeah complete together and really rich and <laughs> and helping a lot of people so like for me i like i sponsor some kid in vietnam right now and uh his name's teen and i want to sponsor 100 kids and i want to be able to get back to family and to charities and to the church and stuff and you know, and I want us to be able to have a big house and uh, to enjoy being financially free. So I want to be a big investor, lots of rental properties. Oh, and, uh, and I want to own a hotel. And own a hotel. <laughs> Zinever says, did you ever envision yourself married before going off to college or pursuing your dreams? No. If you told me when I was seven years old that at 17 seven. I would be <laughs> engaged, I'd be like, huh, you're crazy. So no, I did not envision myself being married before I pursued my dreams, but I am pursuing my dreams. It doesn't so, matter if you're married or not to pursue your dreams. In fact, I think it helps. I'm so excited for it because like literally you get to live with your best friend 24 seven you're with each other. Like you guys feed off each other, you motivate each other. And I think it's the most beautiful thing in the whole world. And I can't imagine myself with anyone else or oh. anywhere else. Oh my gosh, if I had a different life, I, like, I don't know what I would do. Oh my gosh, I love that you so cute. much. I love you. And I was a bachelor for life until I met this. Yeah, Jalen thought, yeah, I'm a bachelor for life. That was literally Jalen like three years ago. <laughs> That's the truth. Sincerely, Ashley says, I think what we all really want to know is, will Chipotle be catering your wedding? Yes! yes! Oh what? yeah! Like, totally! How did you know? Oh my gosh, how did you know? So that is the end of this question and answer. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love. If you're still watching this, comment down below and tell us. We need to know, we like the Maldives, but where do you think we should go as a couple for our honeymoon? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. We love you guys so much. Like, seriously? Thank you. And thank you for supporting my future wife. Mm. Love you guys. I love you. Mwah. And I love you. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Maybe I'm an outfit repeater, but you're an outfit rememberer, which is just as pathetic.